welcome to another angling vlog. Um, today we're on Cheshire Fishery. Um, plan today different than other weeks. We're going to go all out for carp today, so no silvers. Um, the plan is today just carp, no silvers going in the keep net. Hopefully, you know we won't come into too many roach and that. Um, a few changes that I've made. Um, obviously, going on to the bigger cupping pot today, so you get two the map pole so if you want to pick a one obviously feed a lot more bait and something you've not seen me fish a lot well not on this blog this carp I'm gonna start off a goru method feeder as well so we plan we plan today is to fish a two plus two line feed it from the off with um, I'll go over the bait in a minute, corn and that, big bait. And then I want to go on the method feeder for the first hour, see if it turns up and then go over the pole line. And I've got a plan to fish the margin later on down the edge. It's all going to be on one, being me heavy elastic. So I'm going to fish the first bit, top two and two, on my white hydro, and then change the rig down the edge later on. So, yep, we plan for today. So this is my side tray for today. With some micro pallets that I've made up. That's just strictly for the method method feeder. With that, I'm going to fish pop ups juice, either a pop up or a um, normal sinking bait. And then I've got plenty of corn, hemp, dead maggots. And what I'm going to do is do a mixture of them in this pot here. Not too much. I'm going to feed straight off and then I'm going to go down the edge and I've got about two kilo of bait there for later on. All mixed up, obviously it'll take on the water during the day and we'll refine it later on. So yeah, that's my plan and that's the swim. So I've got a line about there, top two plus two. I'm going to fish past it on the method feeder and I've picked this swim because I've got a little snag down, the little tough down the edge there and down that side. I've also got another one, but as I say, bank's going to be busy. So yeah, let's get to it. So that's the mix of the pole ready to go. It's a mixture of hemp, um, corn and dead maggots. Now the thinking is I want, there's a lot of silvers in here as we know. So my thinking is, is that um, anything that moves attracts a small fish. If it doesn't move, it seems to sit there for the bigger fish. So it's all out for bigger fish. And I'm going to feed about half a pot of that and leave it for the first hour, first hour while I fish the method feeder. So let's get to it. There we are, into the first fish of the day on the method feeder. Don't know what it is yet, a bit like a car, it might be. See, it's not something that I really do very often, but all out for carp today, so it's every, anything that can catch carp. We'll be uh, doing, I think this is a, actually a bream, it feels like, I don't know. We'll see. And the pop up juice and um, stinky stuff, a company that I've worked with before, sent me out their new, their new um, product to try, and I've been spraying that all this time. But it's the first carp of the day. It's years since I've used this puddle trucker. I used to, I got it from the river years ago. First calf of the morning, the juice dumbbell needs chops. That's the first calf of the morning in the net. Great start. It's another one. And this one's a calf actually, but you feel like a calf anyway. Say, help you bend in the rod. 
But there we go. That clip you just saw, tip going round. Second car for the day. Get the guy in the net. Another one. So nearly pulled the rod off the vest. No doubt in this one's a carp flying towards me. Be a small one. Always the small ones that rip off. You're gonna lose your rod. Maybe one of the small ones. Third car for the day, and they're coming steady. So, yeah, I had to stop for about five minutes, but yeah, let's get this guy in the net. fish of all sizes, another carp, and again, nearly tore the rod off the vest, but yeah, coming steady, getting the accuracy now on the right spot, clipped up, yeah, it's going well. Alright, been on the method feeder for about 45 minutes, um, you know, about half an hour, 45 minutes, and getting little indications all the time, line bites between me and the, the feeder. So it tells me there's a lot of fish in the area. But yeah, it's been enjoyable. It's, as I say, it just does this to pass the time while that line on the pole settles. And it is a windy day. So the longer I can stay on this, probably the better. But yeah, so far it's working. You know, all carp so far. Now, right, just gone to the pole line. And even with all that hemp and corn going in, get a vulture chalk. So it doesn't seem like that's going to work. Might be that we have to come up the shelf and um, attack it that way. Put a lot more bait on top of the shelf because it is coloured and I would think you'd get the carp at the top of the shelf but it would make it easier in this wind as well, I would imagine. But yeah, we'll stick on it for a bit. And again, it's about the sixth roach on the bounce now. So it's got me thinking, I think, with the wind like it is today, I might be better putting a lot of baiting on the short pole on the top of the shelf down there. And um, go, then I can put a lot more baiting. We'll give it two more goals. If we get roach, that's my plan. Right, so just going to the top of the shelf and within two minutes get a carp. So that that, that change has paid off.
have a First calf of the day on the pole, come about two sections of pole out, and yeah, I'm just getting in the net. So, what I'm doing, feeding positive because obviously there's a lot of carp in there, so they, can, they can eat, you've got to get them in. So I'm just feeding about that much after that, that first carp, see what that does. The idea is to draw the carp in through greed basically and they'll push the roach out and it's shallow enough there's only you know you've got five foot of water and ten foot of water there's a lot more water for it to drop there's only about three foot there so it's going to be straight on the deck for me so plenty of um, corn dead maggot and hemp there we go another one the wind's making it really hard to record close in so yeah, very choppy, but that's uh, the third one coming close in on the short pole. Right, um, from this point on the um, the wind got terrible. A lot of the footage that I've looked over, um, that's a lot of wind on it. And as you can see from the waves on some of the footage that I have got, the weather turned really bad. So. Yeah, basically, from this point on, I went down the margin, and, yeah, we had a few bites. Okay. go another carp come the edge it's very hard to record the winds blowing so I might leave it till later on to get some close-ups of the flow but yeah it's the second carp coming close in There's another one. Let's go see that one. So it's probably steady now down the edge. Really quick. Hopefully go from strength to strength towards the end. But yeah, it's back in the net now. Invite steady now in the edge. Another one just zoomed out. So conditions today are horrendous for recording wind in me mush constantly but the carp are coming in now and say look in a hard day's fishing but I'm good right, let's get this guy in the net there we go another one down the edge the swim slowly starting to build now it's taken a while for him to come but yeah another one it's getting back there we go 
last wish of the session, that one. Get it in the net. We'll have a look at the nets now, see how we've done. There we go, final net. Over 80 pound the carb in total, mostly on the pole. Um, early on on the method feeder. But yeah, great day sport at Cheshire Fishery. Right, I'm going to get these guys back now.